these days having an electric car in your portfolio is being seen as a must have strategy at most global car maker headquarters but unlike the past now an ev must not only be an efficient battery operated vehicle but in fact it must reflect the brand's most advanced engineering and should stand for everything that is cutting edge technologically advanced and sexy from that brand in the premium space it was audi that took the lead when it began showcasing its e-tron concept way back in 2015 at the frankfurt motor show After much testing of several prototypes and a lot of background work done on battery systems and management at the whole Volkswagen group today we see the e-tron and the e-tron sportback leading the pack as Europe's most successful premium brand EVs so naturally they are loaded with tech and while a lot of that has to do with what's under the skin let's first get to the stuff you care about more Now being an e-tron and being one of the high-end cutting edge Audis today you better believe it it is loaded with tech the good news is that the interface and all the operations of it the functionality is exactly like all other Audis the high-end models and so you get the three screen display the virtual cluster which is always very cool to have uh, with its different views and of course you can toggle between the different things that you want to be able to access while you're driving from your music to your navigation all of that now you're used to that part so i won't go into it you're kind of used to seeing this too from audis now the dual display here which splits up functionality it's nice the screen quality is excellent the resolution is great and the haptic feedback works really well the only thing you have to get used to though is that when you touch something you have to actually press it you don't just tap it as you would on other cars you do get used to it and you know what it's better because this way you know for sure that you've been able to do it it's safer when you're driving All of this display is angled a little bit towards the driver so that's nice and you know what I really like is that it's very unobtrusive it's very much like a regular Audi in that sense you don't sort of have this in your face oh I'm electric and it's weird and gimmicky and different it's just like how you've seen on other cars from Audi and so it's really easy to get used to and it also doesn't sort of weird you out The e-tron spec that India is getting is pretty loaded with standard features especially the higher 55 variant. So along with excellent material quality you also get many goodies on board. And of course with the latest MMI you get uh, not just what you're used to in terms of navigation and infotainment settings and ambient lighting and all of that you also of course get the uh, virtual assistant Hi, what's the temperature? What temperature should I set for you? All right, so you get the idea. The MMI is now in its most intuitive avatar yet, making the system easy to use and its interface even more attractive. BMW's iDrive still corners this market though. The lack of a rotary controller also now means you have the wrist rest so that you can easily use the lower of the dual touch screens and the slick gear shifter is also integrated into that nice design for sure being such a high end model you get a bno sound system always nice to have and the other good thing is that you know in the india spec a lot of things are standard across both the variants and even things like wireless phone charging audi phone box as they call it has been offered standard it's very nice and neat because not only does the phone not rattle around but it also fits in vertically which is nice because it saves a lot of space so i like that and uh, the functionality is easy i wish there was a wireless connection for the apple carplay and android auto 2 that would have been nice to have it's a little bit of a missing thing for me but otherwise of course you can connect your phone through bluetooth and for apple carplay etc you can use the usb connectivity and uh, when you're done and you're leaving your mobile phone is still in the vehicle it'll still do that but this is not a connected car in the pure sense 
no inbuilt SIM on the e-tron. But it will come with the Audi Connect dongle that's available with all models, which will give you the same telematics capability. You also get head-up display, ambient and contour lighting, power adjustable front seats with four-way lumbar support, the air quality package with fragrance, four-zone climate control and a comfort key with a gesture-based boot opening and closing feature. The doors also get the soft touch closing function. The e-tron has an acoustic sound system with external speakers that emits a sound to alert pedestrians and animals of the car's arrival. No engine noise, remember? Parking aid and exterior 360 cameras are also standard on the e-tron family and a big help. Charging points are available on both sides of the car. AC on the left and an AC and DC socket on the right. The panels to access these open up electrically, which is kind of cool. A slow 11 kilowatt home charger will juice the battery to an 80% capacity in eight and a half hours, while the 150 kilowatt DC fast charger will do it in under half an hour. You can, of course, go into the car details once you go into the settings and you can see remaining driving range. You have the range mode, which is nice. It's uh, the eco mode, if you will. So the regular range right now, I have about a little less than 70% of the battery left. Uh, 255 kilometers, I hit range mode. It recalibrates and goes up to 298 kilometers. Of course, that means all operations become more efficient. You can't access certain driving modes and even the climate control system automatically switches to range mode which means it will run efficiently to try and save power. That's a good thing and uh, it's a nice little function. The e-tron has regular exterior mirrors for India, but in some markets, Audi does offer cameras instead of mirrors that broadcast a live view to screens inside. The car has energy recuperation, which means that it converts kinetic energy to electrical current, which gets fed back to the battery. This is like most EVs on the market anyway, so you do get three levels of recuperation. The highest also means the most resistance when you take your foot off the accelerator, making single pedal driving possible. You can adjust the modes using the paddles behind the steering wheel. Now everything from the engine management control to of course even the battery management and uh, the distribution of power both from the battery to the motors as well as the recapturing of power that happens the other way everything is controlled by a microchip it's all done really efficiently and I think that's the real technology angle of this kind of a car and certainly every electric car that comes from here on from Audi and so certainly many other high-end manufacturers it's the sheer advantage that you have of a lot of engineering that goes into the software and the hardware to make sure what you get is a really easy to drive, comfortable and dynamic experience all rolled into one. Yes, the car is mighty intelligent. The same helps control the digital matrix LED lights in the top spec. They have excellent functionality. Everything from lane light and orientation light to predictive cornering beams. These lights are very functional and help enhance safety while driving in the dark. Like many Audis, the e-tron also gets signature animation sequences for the head and tail lights when they come on or go off. And it also gets a new feature, dynamic light pattern projections in five sequence choices that you can customize for when the car starts or is turned off and they project either on a wall in front of the car or even on the road. The e-tron gets an adaptive air suspension, eight airbags, a tire pressure monitoring system, and Audi's staples, both drive select and quattro all wheel drive. I gotta say, I really love the sound when you're accelerating or even decelerating for that matter. And while some of that has to do with the sheer hardware of everything, a lot also has to do, I think, with our sensibilities that we've got over the years. 
from Hollywood. Yes, all the sci-fi movies, a lot of the futuristic vehicles just sound like this. And guess what? We have them now. Yes, the e-tron can do a lot to impress you like many of the electric cars available today. That it is quintessentially an Audi SUV first and an EV next is probably its biggest USP.